Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray that like our risen Lord, we may always seek to fulfill the will of God in our lives. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. 
and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you, hand ha you have handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that the murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his cries would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant your times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive, until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you among your own, your kin, to whom you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to the prophet will be cut off from the people. 
Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with you, with your ancestors, when he said to Abraham, In your offsprings, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, 
Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is called in our two readings today as the fulfillment of God. Sa salita natin, ang itinadhana ng Diyos. Usong-uso pa naman ngayon yan, ang salitang yan, no? Itinadhana ng Diyos. Baka meron ditong mga kabataan naghahanap, sino ba ang itinadhana ng Diyos para sa akin? No? Baka natatanong nyo minsan yan, sino ang itinadhana ng Diyos? O kaya, ano ang itinadhana ng Diyos para sa buhay ko? We will know that it is God's fulfillment if it fulfills the will of God. Malalaman mong itinadhana yan ng Diyos kapag yan ay tumutupad sa salita at, ta at turo ng Diyos. Jesus is called God's fulfillment because He was obedient to the will of God. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter and the other disciples were preaching about Jesus. And they said that Jesus was the fulfillment of all that God has said from Abraham to the prophets to the law of Moses. And Peter said that God will raise up a prophet like Moses who will be a servant to God, who will be obedient to God, and who will fulfill the word of God. Jesus is the fulfillment of God because he obeyed the word of God and the commands of God. Si Jesus, ang katuparan ng pangako ng Diyos, ang itinadhana ng Diyos, sapagkat sumunod siya sa kalooban ng Diyos. And this is also what Jesus said in our Gospel reading today when He appeared to the disciples and told them that what is written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms will be fulfilled in me, in my suffering, in my death, and in my rising from the dead. This means, my dear brothers and sisters, that Jesus is the fulfillment of God because whatever God willed happened in his life. He obeyed what God has written for his life. Si Jesus ang itinadhana ng Diyos sapagkat sinunod niya anuman ang kalooban ng Diyos para sa Kanya. Kaya po, babalik po ako doon sa aking tanong sa umpisa. No? Ano kaya ang itinadhana ng Diyos. Sino kaya ang itinadhana ng Diyos? Mga kapatid, ito ang pamantayan. Kapag taliwas sa utos, sa turo, at sa salita ng Diyos, 
hindi yan ang itinadhana ng Diyos. Kaya hanapin palagi, baka tatanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, paano ko makahanap ang itinadhana ng Diyos sa akin? Huwag lamang tanungin, saan kaya ako magiging masaya? Kasi akala natin ganun, no? Where do I find my fulfillment? Oh, where I will be happy. Huwag lang hanapin, saan kaya ako sisikat? Huwag lang hanapin, saan kaya ako kikita? Para makita mo ang itinadhana ng Diyos sa'yo, tanungin mo rin, saan ko ba matutupad ang kanyang salita? Yan. Yan ang tinadhana ng Diyos para sa iyo. So, whenever we ask ourselves, where do I find God's promise for me? Where will I find God's fulfillment for me? Do not just ask, where will I be comfortable? Where will I be happy? Ask also, where can I follow and fulfill God's word? There, I will find God's promise for me. Mga minamahal na kapatid, para makita natin ang itinadhana ng Diyos, kailangang hanapin natin saan ba natin matutupad ang Kanyang mga salita. Amen. Please stand. The wisdom of the scripture reveals God's plan for us. As we journey with Christ, let us pray that His path of life may become clearer for us each day. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that as a church we may be faithful in proclaiming the gospel of repentance and forgiveness let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that in recognizing the goodness of christ the reason lord we may bring social justice to all let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. The, that the scripture may give enlightenment to those in the darkness of sin and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may recognize the presence of the risen Lord in the Eucharistic bre breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick especially those afflicted with COVID-19. And for those who care for them, may the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may rise to the fullness of joy in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, our hearts burn within us as we listen to your only begotten Son, accept the prayers of pilgrims journeying on his path of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
priestly stand, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance, now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.